so we're back and we are going to be doing a new project this week and this week's project we're going to be learning about how to draw a cow moo so what you'll need for this project is a piece of paper a pencil an eraser as always um some sort of black coloring supply i like sharpie but any black supply will do and coloring supplies of your choice you're the artist so have fun with it. Whatever you want to use will work. Uh, we're going to learn step by step how to draw a cow. Um, and we're also going to learn about how, we, how to crop things, which means the whole image isn't in on the paper. We cut little parts off. So I'll show you how to do that. Follow along with me and we're going to have some awesome cow drawings. Alrighty, everyone. We are back and we are moving on to cows. Ha, get it moo like a cow. All right, so we're gonna hold our paper vertically today and we are gonna draw a cow's face and I'll walk you through the step-by-steps. Uh, but what we're gonna be doing is we wanna be taking up our whole paper as if the cow is looking right into a camera and it is super close to us. So I want you to take your pencil and up towards the bottom corner of your paper, you're going to draw a curved line and we want that curve to go up then what we're gonna do is on each side we're gonna make a nice big curve line going in almost like parentheses like those parentheses one on each side all right so now this is gonna be the top of the mouth but now we're gonna go into the head and what I want you to do is from that parentheses on each side we're gonna curve out on both of them. All right, the next step is we're gonna come on in and we're gonna make a curve line, but almost at that top, we're gonna flatten it out. And then we're gonna come around and connect it. So this is the top of our, this is the cow's head. But what we need to do is add the bottom and it's almost a curved line on the bottom just like so. All right, so we have our head shape, but we also need a body shape. So what I want you to do is right where that head curves on in, on the side, we're gonna curve a line down. Same thing on the other side. So at the bottom of the mouth, we're gonna come down and curve it all the way to the edge of our paper. So this is gonna be a zoomed in version of our cap. All right, the next step is the nose, and the nose is really, really makes it look like a cow. So you're like, how do I do this nose? I might have never done a nose like this before. What you're going to do is we're going to come up from this curved line, that first curved line that we drew, and we're going to come out at a diagonal on both sides. Then we're going to curve it a little flat on the top curve and connect it. Cows have really big noses. On the bottom, we're going to make a curved line below that nose. All right, so this is the shape of our nose, but in order for the cow to smell, it needs some nostrils, those little holes in our nose. And what we're going to do is from each corner, you're gonna wrap around and we're gonna create a teardrop shape. So it's curved and then it comes on up all the way connected to the edge. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So you can see it gets wider at the bottom, curve, come on up and connect it. Awesome, oh, sorry, my dog just moved the table. And cows have this little slit right in the middle of their nose and we're gonna come up and stop right there. We don't want to go past that curved line. We want to stop it at that curved line. All right, that's a nice big nose if I've ever seen one. So the next step that we're going to do is the eyes. So right where that line we went to go curve up, right below it, we're going to do a nice curved line coming out from the edge of our head on both sides. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a circle to that, but we don't wanna see the top of the circle. So we're gonna come in a little bit from the edge, 
So put your pencil on the edge and we're gonna hop over a little bit. Then we're gonna come down into a nice big circle. And if it goes off the head a little bit, that's okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the side. A nice big circle. You want them about the same on each side. Okay. So I have my eyes, I have my nose, and I'm missing ears. And how we're gonna do the ears is we're gonna use a curved line again. And we're gonna start a little bit above where the eye is on the edge, and we're just gonna curve it. And if it goes off the paper, that's okay, because remember, this is cropped, which means it's zoomed in. So it's okay if we go off the paper. Then the other one, cows have pretty big ears. So I'm gonna come and curve, 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 and it's gonna go off the paper, which is okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna come a little above the head, curve, and come down and curve. So my ears are really off the paper, but I think that is okay. So now I'm looking at my cow and I notice he's got kind of a pointy head. So if you wanna round that out a little bit, you can. If yours came out rounded already, awesome. But if yours is a little pointy like me, all you gotta do is come back in and fix it. That's why we have erasers. And then we're gonna make sure that line goes all the way to the edge of our head. All right, he's so cute so far. All right, so what we're gonna do now is add some details to our cow. This is up to you. If you want, some cows are brown, brown cows. They don't make chocolate milk, but they look like they would. And you could do it all brown. You can do light brown and dark brown with spots. You can do the regular milk cows, which the milk cows actually have these black and white spots usually that you would see on commercials for milk. And you can do some spots. I like to do a couple wavy lines for the spots. Maybe you want one here. Wherever you want the spots, that's up to you. I'm gonna do a couple on the body. And it's just a wavy line that connects to the edge. All right, so I'm gonna do the black and white cow. Uh, if you want, you can add some flower. Maybe it's wearing a flower crown. You could really have fun with this. Maybe your cow's got a little bit of a funky hair day, make some spikes coming off. I think it's cute. And then you're just gonna erase that line below the spike so it looks like its hair is coming off its head. Because sometimes cows got a little fluff up there. And some cows have horns. If it's a boy cow, it's a bull, and you could actually add horns to your cow. You don't have to, if you want no horns, you don't have to. To make it and remember it's okay if we go off the paper for this project and then I'm going to draw the inside of its ears which is just a curved line inside the ears because the inside there's no hair there's only the pink part which is the cow's skin all right and you can have fun you can make it have some cute eyes if you want to have some circles which is the highlight, that's where the light hits it, and make it cute, you can make the eyes however you want. If you want them all black, that's up to you. All right, so my cow is pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna make my cow in a field because they like to eat the grass. So I'm gonna draw a line across for the grass and the sky. Remember, this is called a horizon line, where the sky and the grass or the ground meets. If you want yours in a barn, maybe you could put little other cows in the background. You can draw a barn in the background. It's up to you what you want to put in your background and how you want to design your cow. Your cow might have different spots than mine. Yours might be a brown cow. That is up to you. You're the artist and you're going to have fun designing your cow. Maybe your cow's wearing a bow tie. Maybe the farmer likes to dress up your cow. Have fun with it. I want it to be unique. Now, what you're going to do is take a black Sharpie, 
either you could use a black marker, a black crayon, a black colored pencil, and we're gonna go over our lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and start to go over some of my lines. I'm trying to be neat because remember, the better we go over our lines, the less we have to erase. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you how to color when we come back. All right, so I went ahead and sharpied my cow. As you can see, I colored in the eyes black and I also colored in the nostrils black because that goes into the nose so it'd be nice and dark in there. So if you wanna do that when you're sharpieing, you could go ahead and do that. So now it's the fun part, we get to color in our cow. So for the black parts, I don't wanna use plain black because if I was to use plain black, it would just blend in with the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a gray and I'm going to color in my whole thing gray. You could also leave it gray if you want. You could do a gray cow and that way I could still see my eyes. Remember I go around the whole outside first so that way it's nice and neat when I color it in. And I'm coloring in in gray. All right, and I would do that to all my spots. Then what I'll do is I'll take my black and I'm gonna go around the outside of my line. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add some lines, kind of like how we did on the spaceship to the white and we added gray. I could just add some lines where I want it to be a little bit darker. staying away from the eye because I don't want to mix the black in and I could color in some parts and then what I I can do if you want it to blend even better come back over with that gray and go over it and it'll blend it in very nicely blending is when it moves smoothly from one color to another so I'm coming in I'm blending that in and I have a nice black spot but I have the gray around the eye so it makes it look like the eye is popping out a little bit. For the white, if you want to leave your parts white, if you want to add some, make it look more 3D, what you could do is take a pencil and very lightly, you can add some shading with that pencil. So I could come in here, add a little pencil to make it darker in a couple of places. And you could have fun with that. For my nose, I think I'm just gonna leave it gray because usually the nose is wet and the light hits it, so it's a little bit lighter. So these are some tricks that you can use on yours. And like I said, if you wanna do brown, you could do a light brown and a dark brown, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna look up images of cows and see what they look like, you can see if you find one you like and you can draw that one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and color this and I'll come on back um, and then I'm gonna color in my whole background as well. So I might do green for the grass and blue for the sky. Like I said, if you put a barn or something, color that in. I want the whole picture colored in because it'll really make your little guy pop out. Actually, he's a big guy. Cows are pretty big. All right, I'm gonna get started and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Isn't he cute? This is my little cow. And I think he is adorable, or she is adorable, uh, whichever you drew. I could have easily come in, added some flowers, added a barn in the background, had a little bit of fun with it. Um, you can have fun with yours. I wanna see what you create. Um, I could have made the nose pink. I want you to make yours a little bit different than mine, but I think these cows came out really cool. As you can see, it takes up the whole paper and it's okay. We're learning that it's okay if something goes off. So if the ears go off or the horns go off or clouds go off the paper, it's okay. So I want you to try that. 
and really try and work large. We don't want the cow to be very tiny on the bottom. We want it to take up the whole paper so it looks like he's staring right at you. So there's my cow. I hope you like it. Have fun and I can't wait to see yours. I miss you all so much and I can't wait to see your projects.